yeah this is why OEM is not necessarily original and what won't necessarily fit perfectly your car This is my 2005 Audi A6. Today, I am going to replace the stabilizer bar or sway bar links without removing anything. I'm not going to remove the wheels, I'm not going to jack up the car, I'm not going to remove the belly pan. I'm going to try to do it without removing anything. I am going to start with the driver's side. To be able to properly work on the driver's side, I am going to start the car and turn the wheel outwards to the left. To the left, to the left. With the wheel turned outwards, you have more room. Now we need a 16 millimeter socket and a sort of tito bar. The longer the handle, the easier it is to loosen what you want to loosen. This is too short, it's gonna be very difficult with uh, a pipe, a sort of pipe attached to it, you can easily remove the bolt. Let's do this. See? It's working. Okay, now I can remove the Tito bar and use just the the wrench. This part is okay. See, this is the <laughs> uh, the inside. How do you call this thing? Uh, whatever, I forgot the name of it. Bushing. 
it's not all right now let's do the top part for the top part you need two tools you need a flat uh, 16 millimeter and the socket so I'm going to going to place the socket inside here and I'm going to place the 16 millimeter outside here let me go bring the 16 millimeter flat right so this is a long enough flat 16 I'm going to pull this part down to loosen it first be gentle be careful you can hurt yourself so be very careful Pos so position yourself such a way that you don't hurt yourself uh, it's coming there okay now I need to count to hold I'm just going to block this side and loosen at the back. All right, it's out. Good. Now let's install the new one. I'm going to start with the top side. Uh, so remember, we put the port in like this. This is a, a sort of OEM replacement part. So it doesn't really match the original one I just removed. But I guess it should do the job. The the bolts and the nut look different. The bolt is longer and the nut looks smaller, but it should normally do it. Now I want to place the before I I tighten the top part, I want to adjust this part. So, as you can see, let me see, it's not, I have to remove my hand, can you see, Adjust the adjustment is not very good, it's because we removed the, since we removed the bolt, the load has allowed the stabilizer bar to, to move a little bit, so what I usually do is I use, uh, a scissor jack scissors jack to jack it up a little bit and uh, adjust it so that the bolt can enter What about now? Still, <sighs> How about now? 
one now. Perfect. Uh, yeah, that's enough. There. This bolt is so long, the new one. I hope it will not be too long for this thing. I eventually removed it. It's too long. See it compared to the the original one. It's just too long. So I'm going to place the old one. It is uh, recommended to replace the bolt. It is a one-time use, but I'm not gonna have the choice. Uh, it won't hurt. Next time I will replace them. Let's do the top part. What kind of bolt is this one? These people. I'm replacing that. It has to be 16. Alright, so I'm gonna... I'm deciding to... Oh, I hope this won't be any... Yeah, it's already tight. I wanted to replace that bolt too. I wanted to place the original bolt. But since I already placed the bottom part, it will be difficult to remove this, so... I'm just, I'm just going to use the, the nut that came with the old yeah all right yeah this is why OEM is not necessarily original and what won't necessarily fit perfectly your car so you have to have that in mind i took my chance and now i regret it should have just purchased original stuff. Dog spec is 14 newton meters plus a 90 degree turn. Okay, so 40, you can see 40. The space is going to be limited because my my dog wrench is long. Let's see. I can do it. Okay, that's it. Forty. Now, an additional forty degree, uh, ninety degree degrees. Oops. This side is going to be impossible because. <laughs> Uh, I can't use the dock wrench here. So uh, I'm just going to use this thing. This one is long enough 
to tighten a little more. And that should be good. All right. Now, I'm going to remove the, the jack. And that's it. That's one side. Now let's move on to the other side. The link on the other side looked good, so I have decided not to replace it. So that's it. Uh, this is how you replace uh, your sway bar or stabilizer bar link without jacking up the car. It's totally possible. I hope you find this useful.